Cleanup took pretty much all day. With what the broken furniture, the shattered windows, the front and back doors, and hauling Claire's damaged mattress out to the curb. They were just sitting down to dinner when the sun she when the sun went behind the horizon, and Claire heard the sound of a body hitting the floor, followed by a dry retching. Michael's home Eve said as if he just come back from school. You guys dig in. It took a while before she came back with Michael holding hands. Shane got up, smiling, and held up his hand. Michael high fived it. Not bad, brother, Michael said. The girls gave you the girls gave you enough time for the switch. Even though they didn't know. Yeah. Worked out. Shane said pleased. See, my plans don't all suck. Just most of them. So long as we keep on being able to tell the difference. Michael pulled up a chair. What's for Oh, you're kidding me. Chili? Nobody wanted to get go to the store. Yeah, I guess. Michael closed his eyes. I'm saying a prayer. Maybe you ought to, too. It's going to take us a miracle to get through this. Whether he was serious or not, Claire sent the prayer up toward heaven. And she thought the others did, too. So it seemed kind of miraculous when the doorbell rang. At least they're getting more polite when they try to kill us, Shane said. Michael got up and went to the door. After a second's hesitation, they all got up and followed. Michael swung the new door open. Outside, in the glow of the porch light, stood a middle-aged man with a scraggy beard and a huge scar down one side of his face. Dressed in black motorcycle, leather behind him were two more guys. Not quite as old and, and a whole lot bigger and meaner looking. Bikers. Clearly not choked. Claire nearly choked on their bite of chili. The man nodded. Son! He said, looking past Michael right at Shane. Got your message. Cavalry's here. He walked right in, past the threshold, and ignored Michael like he wasn't even there. About time you got your ass in gear. Be waiting for you to call for six m damn months. What kept you? Took you this long to find the head bloodsucker? They followed him into the living room. Michael turned to look at Shane, who was turning red. Not meeting anybody's eyes, really. Things have changed, Dad. Nothing's changed. Shane's dad said and turned to face them, hands on hips. We came to kick us some ass and kill us some vampires. Just like we planned all along. Time to get some payback for Alyssa and your mother. Nothing's going to change that. Dad, things are different now. We can't... Shane's father grabbed him by the hair, quick as a snake. There were tattoos on his hand, ugly dark blue smudges. And he forced Shane's head back. Can't. Can't. We're going to burn this town down, boy. Just like we agreed. And you're not changing your mind. Hey! Michael said sharply and reached out for Shane's dad. When he touched him, something happened. Something like an electric shock that flared blue white in the room and raised the hair on Clara's arms. Michael flew back and hit the wall, too stunned to do anything. No! Shane yelled and tried to pull free. Dad, no! Shane's dad nodded to one of his bikers. Yep, he's one of them. Take care of it. The biker guy nodded back, pulled a knife from his belt, and advanced on Michael. No! Shane screamed at this time. Claire took a hesitant step forward and stopped on Michael's wide blue eyes locked on hers. Eve was screaming, and so was Shane. Miranda saw this, she thought. Miranda was even standing on the rug, and Miranda had pointed to when she said, and he died, right there. It hadn't been his first death. It was his second. Guys, stay out of it, Michael said sharply. When Eve tried to lunge for toward him and get between him and the biker, he was still backing away, and this time he looked afraid. He hadn't been afraid of the vampires and all their minions, but this time the biker moved faster than anybody. Claire had ever seen, except vampires. She didn't even see what had happened. Just heard the heavy thud as Michael hit the floor. The biker went down with him, holding him flat with one huge hand while the other raised the knife. No, Dad, God, I'll do whatever you want. Shut up. Shane's dad said, and threw Shane over them and put her arms around him. You bet you will. You three are going to tell me which vamps to strike first, because it's us against them. Now. And you don't, don't you dare forget it. Three? Eve said faintly. Her huge eyes were locked on Michael and the biker and the knife. Three. And Shane's dad nodded to the biker. They all screamed as the knife came down.